Hello, my dear students. <clears throat> Let's start first chapter of grammar, which is parts of speech. As you can see in your book, we have this diagram, which shows that there are eight parts of speech. Parts of speech means the sentences which we speak every day. They consist of nouns, pronouns. adjectives verbs adverbs prepositions conjunctions interjections right so this chapter will be a revision for all these topics let us start with nouns so we <coughs> already know that a noun is a naming word <coughs> it is the name of a person place animal or thing we add idea into it let's check the types of nouns we have common nouns they refer to the general names right common noun is the general name of anything it can be a boy i say boy i say city any city right so common nouns refer to the general names of people places animals and things proper nouns refer to particular names like i said city is a common noun karnal is a proper noun collective nouns they refer to the collection of things places uh, sorry things animals or people for example i say bunch of keys the word bunch itself gives me the visual of more than one right if i say bunch to i can imagine ke guchha chabiyon ka guchha not one key so collective noun gives you the idea of collection gang of thieves class of students then countable nouns and uncountable nouns countable nouns can be counted and uncountable nouns cannot be counted here i will like to i would like to tell you that common nouns can be countable and uncountable both <clears throat> abstract nouns abstract nouns cannot be see cannot be seen or touched they refer to ideas feelings emotions <clears throat> like or state state i say childhood is an abstract noun for feelings anger happiness love are the abstract nouns material nouns material nouns are the names of substances through by which other things are made of concrete things are made of for example i say see any material cement gold silver cotton are all material nouns i say this dress is made of silk dress is a concrete noun here and silk is material noun here so this is the related exercise with the nouns moving forward to pronouns dear students we know that pronouns are used in place of nouns right when we do not when we do not want to use noun again and again instead of using noun again and again we use pronoun so we have nine different kinds of pronouns which we have done in the previous class let's revise them personal pronouns personal pronouns refers to first person second person and third person right means to the speaker the person spoken to and the person spoken about i am talking to you about him 
so first person second person and third person whatever pronouns we will use for apne liye aapke liye ya unke liye first person second person or third person ke liye whatever pronouns i will be using will be the personal pronouns i he they right what are demonstrative pronouns bete demonstrative word comes from demonstration out of 50 pens i pick up one pen and say this is my pen word this is demonstrating is telling you that this particular pen is ma'am's pen so demonstrative pronouns they point out to something specific four demonstrative pronouns are this that these and those used for singular and plural coming to interrogative pronouns interrogative word comes from interrogation which means asking questions so the words like what who which whom whose when they are used in a sentence and we ask you that underline or fill in the blank with interrogative pronoun you will fill with these question words because with the help of these words we ask questions <clears throat> coming to possessive pronouns now word possessive comes from the word possession possession means the thing which belongs to us our thing hamari unki right his this bag is his this purse is hers uska hai this house is ours this party is theirs right possession the words which tell you hamari hai unki hai tumhari hai the words which give you the possession are possessive pronouns they claim the ownership coming to reflexive pronouns and emphatic pronouns <clears throat> see reflexive and emphatic i will be doing together with you now in both reflexive pronouns and emphatic pronouns let me give you one example i say i'll speak two sentences he cleaned the cupboard himself he and himself in this sentence is one person only he cleaned the cupboard himself but he and himself are written far away it means here himself is reflexive pronoun but if i speak the sentence he himself cleaned the cupboard he and himself are written together here it means it is emphatic pronoun himself here is emphatic pronoun because it is written with the subject <coughs> so if it is far away he cleaned the cupboard himself here himself is reflexive he himself cleaned the cupboard here himself is emphatic let us revise the others other pronouns relative pronouns see relative pronouns shows us the relation of one noun to the other noun or pronoun present in the sentence for example i say this is my car whose color was changed by me right i am giving you a relationship with the help of certain words like i want to establish instead of speaking a straight and simple sentence if i add a clause or phrase in between using the words whose 
who, which, or that. So these will become the relative pronouns in the particular sentences. <coughs> distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns are the words which we use to refer to individuals present in one group. For example, each of you will get a candy. Now, each of you, I am referring to a group, but I am talking to individuals, each of you, right? So, the words like each, every, either, neither, everyone, none, anyone are the most commonly used distributive pronouns. Coming to indefinite pronouns where we are not clear with the person or noun you can say. Like nobody, somebody, everybody, anybody, anyone are the indefinite pronouns. <coughs> this is a quick recapitulation of pronouns. We have this B part related to the pronouns exercise. 